SNES Drunk. Hey there, welcome back to SNES Drunk Plays Star Fox. Unscripted, uncensored, unfiltered. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so now we get into another, what I think is a creative level. Um, is everyone all right, Fox? You're on course to sneak into Venom's back door. Yeah, make, insert your own jokes there, kitties. Oh, you know what? I forgot about the space level. I meant the, the level that comes after this. That's really kind of cool. This one's just your your standard cockpit, you know, level over the surface of Venom below, which is actually a very, very cool, very impressive visual, especially for the time. Like, I remember as a kid trying to, like, go down and, and, uh, oh, this level. Okay, yeah. These things will explode. Uh, uh, yeah, not only do you have the collider block things, the triangle things that fly straight into you, just like the previous Venom surface level, Venom space level, I guess, but you also have these other blocks that fly apart. Um, before you, if, if you don't shoot them in time, they will fly apart. Like that one I got in time, that one I got in time, that one I got in time. Like that. Oh shit, look out. Yeah, they go above you, they go below you. You gotta use your bonds, you gotta dodge a lot better than I just did right there. Oof. And I managed to save Slippy. I did not mean to do that. I want I want Slippy to crash onto the planet's surface there and, and never be heard from again. Is that bad? Is that wrong of me? You know, nothing personal, Slippy, but maybe you're not cut out to be in this game. I need life. <laughs> God, and he needs help again. I just saved your ass. Jesus. Ugh. You know, I used to think that when you approach um, a certain amount of ships, uh, just like singular... Oh, God, look out. A singular, you know, like just this, the regular spaceships that shoot either plasma Cheerios or the uh, just lasers and stuff like that. Um, if you didn't get all, I, like these guys right here, I used to think if you didn't get all of them, that would mean that a guy would get in trouble. They'd go behind you and then they'd chase one of your crewmates. That is, I, I assumed that was the case, but that in fact is a bunch of crap. Um, they will get in trouble regardless of if you destroy all of them or not. I mean, it would be a really, kind of a really cool touch if that were the case. Oh god, this part is really hard. Use your bombs. Hey, here's another bomb for me to use. Thank you. Yeah, this part is tough, because these things... There's a lot of them. You know, I'd rather take a Plasma Cheerio to the face. Okay, let's see if I survive this. This is a Rock Crusher thing. And, uh, yeah, you just basically pound the shit out of it, and it's all about timing, and I fucked up the timing bad. Oh, you know what? I actually did the timing well. It was the stupid things behind it that slammed into me. Yeah, you got those those rock things behind it. Oh, God. Am I going to do this? You got to put the brakes on and time it just right and move out of the way, or it will crush you. You really got to freaking... Oh, and then it tries to do this laser thing with the plasma Cheerios, like a plasma Cheerio barrage. But I managed to destroy one of them in time. And there we go. And he's got an escape pod, though. Very cool touch. But yeah, that's basically, it's that boss is all about, you can't let yourself get crushed. or And you can't let the um, stuff behind it hit you, like I did. So yeah, it is a bit tougher. Like, the, all, the bosses that, and you'll see in this next stage, the bosses and the enemies that, uh, hey, 100%, that um, physically, like, run into you, like, kamikaze style, are really tough to deal with. Okay, the music here, and the level itself is really awesome. And this is, yeah, pretty straightforward. This is kind of almost like an open-ended version of one of those pods. You have a solid wall to your right, but in the meantime, you really have to dodge stuff and, uh, yeah, make sure. This this one, look out. Yeah, you have to, like, the, 
these things are kamikaze type things. I'm just gonna stay, <laughs> stay vertical here. Even if it does kind of block my sight a bit to see what's ahead of me, I really don't care. But yeah, all right. Looks like the. Th yeah, there's no more stuff coming up. Here's a bomb, which I hope to use. Oh shit, I forgot about this. Get out of there. I just like the look of this, this stage. I don't know what that is, if that's like a reflection on the bottom there where the, where the floor kind of breaks up. Yeah, and you got these things coming up from behind you. That's a really nice touch. Of course, they're pretty easy to defeat. You just have to stay on the right side. And obviously, it helps to have this supercharged cannon thing. And they can be... Whoa, look out! Yeah, that's... Is that the boss? I forget. No, it's just some guy. And he comes up behind you, and he tries to run into you. That's basically all he tries to do. I think he does have some missiles or something, so you have to hit the brakes. He hits his brakes, too, though, which is really... That's ingenious. Ah, God. Coming up on your mud flaps. It's a Mystery Science Theater 3000 joke. Riding with death. And here we go. We've got the boss coming up from behind you. It's the same guy that escaped via escape pod. And... This guy is going to open his front door and let more of these assholes out. He's got an infinite number of them somehow. And uh, yeah, he tries to freaking run into you. Oh god, and look out. Oh no. This is bad, this is really bad. Yeah, when you get wing damage, you, uh, your gun gets, your weapon gets downgraded to the pea shooter. This is bad. With Andros coming up, this is really bad. Open your damn door. There we go. Got him. And I love this right here. When he ex when he explodes, he like swerves out of control and freaking just yeah, like tips over. Okay. Uh, I have wing damage. I should be able to get when you when you find another um, weapon upgrade. Uh, you. Uh, should be able to it, it what it does is it fixes your wing it, but you still get stuck with the pea shooter whoa, whoa, whoa. The computer's controlling you at that point I thought you might make it eventually you know eventually not right away or anything general pepper hasn't done shit yet okay these are always really hard I always get hit a lot because I forget to put the brakes on and it's not I'm out of it this is bad but at least I get see this is what happens when you wing repaired there we go however I have the pea shooter weapon this may not go very well and yes Andros is the same as he is in level one the big creepy face that I wonder if he's actually if he could, like, get a lip reader. Like, what's he saying? I think he's saying... <laughs> this is gonna take a while, I've got a feeling. Luckily, a lot of stuff just flies right into your weapon fire, which is something I never really understood. Look out. Well, I do have three bombs, so once I get get him in cube form, the cube of death, I should be able to take him out. Maybe not right away. I'll probably have to blow up this face twice. Like, literally blow up his face. Make his face explode. Oh, but this time he's got... Oh, shit, I missed it. Well, it still affected him, though. Yep, and he's going back to the, to the face bit. Haha, Star Fox, I've upgraded my cube to have triangle tops. Wow, that was fast. That was interesting. Wow, that's uh, 
Does he have, like, weaker defenses if you go about him the second time? I don't remember. Okay, come on. Take him out. There we go. That's on target. Take that, Andros Cube. And there we have it. We are on our way out. I actually beat Andros on the second level with a stupid pea shooter gun after getting wing damage. Might want to hurry up, Star Fox, you know, considering the whole thing is somehow exploding. And he's got the same ending as the easy path. Interested to see what kind of percentage I'll get on this one, considering I got an 83 on the easy part, but that's because I took, I think I took, uh, if I remember correctly, I took some damage. Oh. Yep, pretty much the same thing. It's like, look at the ships. Here they are. Look at them. Are you looking? Does this bug you? I'm not touching you. <laughs> I do really like how the ships look in this game. It's very creative design and good usage of the Super FX chip. You know, given the limitations there. Let's see. 95. 84. Wow. This is 100. Still better than any grades I got in high school. That's for sure. 100%. 100%. And 100%. And 100%. <laughs> okay, then. I don't understand that at all, because I took a shitload of damage. I took wing damage. And I got 100%. Whatever. <laughs> Average score, 96. So one percentage point below how we did on the easy path. Yes, let's get the dramatic shot from underneath. This is Cornelia. This is Cornelia, Pepper speaking. Congratulations on a job well done. Roger, I'm heading back to Cornelia. And I expect to be well paid. Yeah, this is, uh, you get the same sound bites and you get the same rundown of all the bosses you just beat which is a really cool touch that I really like I think Mario World was one of the first games that did this where it, it didn't give detailed information well quote unquote detailed information like this for um, each boss it just gave you the name of each enemy that you beat including all the bosses and stuff which I loved at the time and this was even better Rock Crusher Laser, and he's 60 space meters by 86 space meters by 45 space meters. And you got this thing with its cute little fins. <laughs> it's Professor Nancer? Is that an Hanser? Hanser? Hanger? Professor Hanger? Maybe I should learn to read before I read these. This fucker, I hate this guy. Plasma hy Hydra Plasma Spewer. That's not all he spews. My least favorite boss in the game, potentially. Although there's one in the in the uh, hard level that really gives me a lot of trouble. In fact, the hard level, the hard path gives me a lot of all the bosses in the hard path give me some level of trouble. Metal Smasher with the Crush Attack. And the guy who generates an unlimited amount of ship things, Galactic Rider with air bikers. Really creative boss, and I really like his. He's got the best uh, quote unquote death scene <laughs> in this game, other than Fox himself. So, I haven't died yet, have I? I'm. When I get to the hard path, I will die at least once. I guarantee it. There's a couple levels I have a lot of, of trouble with. Okay. Here we've got the credits coming up one more time. I'm not going to make you sit through the credits. So I do really like the music, though. But um, I'm just going to edit my way towards the end here. And we're back. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Um, I'll be back doing the hard path. Uh, uh I'm not sure when this will get posted. I don't know how the schedule shakes out. But I really want to thank you to, for watching up to this point. And have a great rest of your day.